What is up guys, I'm Matex here and welcome back to another video and this video is about Minecraft's 1.18 and 1.17's secrets, tips and tricks. So let's get right into it. So uh, last week a new version of Minecraft has been released, the 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 1 and it includes a lot of new land generation features. So. I'm going to be uh, also going over that, but also a lot of 1.17's secrets, tips and tricks, so let's get into it. So first of all, we got this Screaming Goat. So did you guys know there's a Screaming Goat variant of Goat, so it's like there's a blue axolotl. So the Screaming Goat has 2% chance of spawning and looks identical to other Goat. So this is a normal Goat, and it sounds like, oh my god, wait, it's dead bro. And it sounds something like this, you know, normal, normal, very normal. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a screaming goat. So this is how you spawn a screaming goat. Someone, Minecraft goat is screaming goat, uh, colon 1B. And this is a screaming goat. So it sounds way different. And yeah, let's see. So only difference is they make a screaming sound and they ram more often compared to other goats. I don't even know which one's a screaming goat anymore. Oh, wow, okay, okay. Game mode creative. And ha! Uh, hidden trap. Actually, let me just kill the thing before it knocks me off. Okay. Uh, that's number two. Hidden trap. So, check this out. Game mode survival. And let's see. So, I'm gonna climb up this ladder and then I'm gonna try to fall down on the left side. Oh, I'm gonna fall down on that one. I don't wanna fall down over there. Okay. So. It did three and a half damages. Now I'm gonna try to fall down on this one. So check this out. So as you see, like this, it looks identical from the top. Now I'm gonna try to fall down on this one. Okay. And oh, let's try to do it again, but with full health. Uh, let's do this. And wow, okay, there's nine health. So 3.5 health, and this is nine health. So it's way different from this one all right so the next one is a pretty cool one it's more like a half glitch and half feature and then i'm not enchanted using this there we go channeling and weather thunder now check this out there we go so if you throw a trident on top of the copper uh, the lightning rod then this is what happens you can make an infinite lightning generator and I'm gonna try to put a gold right here and wow okay so yeah it does work all right here is the fourth one so in minecraft 1.18 there's a new feature that allows you to put foliages on top of snow so this is normal snow block right check this out snow block so bam cactus still no peony big drill leaf pink tulip dandelion so you can put all these foliages on top of an actual snow block now let's try on the powder snow and no you cannot now in 1.18 or 1.17 there's a new thing called lava cauldron and with the lava cauldron you can do a really interesting thing so you can put a honey block underneath a cauldron and you can go in there and Wait, how do you even go in here? Oh, there we go. And once you go in here, there's no way that you can exit. And same with water. Check this out. You cannot exit it. You can make a sword with an upside down android and a black candle. Okay, so this one is more of a bug. And this thing only exists in Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. So in Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, you can put a potion in the cauldron. So first of all, you're going to be filling up a potion. Uh, potion cauldron and you're gonna be putting the dripstone on top of it and drip water from it so if you wait enough then it's gonna be filling up with potion not water so this is how you duplicate potions so eighth one is also another build trick and check this out carpet carpet moss carpet so you can make like a nature table using a drip leaf and moss carpets like this number ninth so we're getting into some 1.18's movement tactics 
So 1.18 has like huge caves. So let's say you want to rope down, but like you're pretty much like out of blocks. Then you can use this thing called the weeping vines. Now I'm gonna be putting weeping vines like this, and then you can bone mill all the way down. And now you have a rope that goes all the way down. Not, not all the way down, bro, no. But basically you have a rope that can climb down. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, there we go. And you can also climb back up, just like this. And I have no idea how to get back to the safety. Uh, oh no, I'm, I'm pretty much screwed, right? Here is another movement tactic. You can use water to stick on top of the ceiling, just like this. And it's a little bit of practice. And oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of forgiving, sort of. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now here's the thing. People will be like, oh, why can't you just use a bridging? Well, this is why, because if with bridging, it's really hard to go down, but with water, it's really easy to go down. So, check this out. Bam, and it's really hard to master. This and this, all right? This and this, just like this. Uh, take, place, just like this. Take, place. Like this, take and then place. Oh God, no, 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 no. It's a little hard to master. Take, place, All right? Then take, place, here we go. Now try doing that with bridging, bro. You cannot. Number 11. So in 1.18, the Minecraft wall height limit got changed from 256 to 320 and it goes all the way down to negative 64. So also the old generation has been changed like a lot. And just an FYI, this is not a final um, like old generation plans, but this is it for now. So I'm gonna be going over with you guys real quick. It's a coal, it generates from zero and up and mostly found on 95 and 136. Copper from 0 to 96, mostly found on 48. Emerald from 32 and up, and mostly found on 255. Lapis from negative 64 to 64, mostly found on negative 1. Iron everywhere except in between 65 and 126, mostly found on 15 and 255. Gold from negative 64 to 30, mostly on negative 17. However, on Badlands, our gold can be found from negative 64 to 79, mostly at 32 and 79. Diamonds could be found from negative 64 to 16, and it's mostly on the negative 59. And redstones share the same range, but different shape. All right, number 12. So here is a farm for pretty much everything. So this is the lava farm, lava cauldron, so you can have infinite lava in Minecraft 1.17. This is the Glowberry Farm. Check this out. So whenever it changes, it's gonna be activating the bone mill. As you guys can see, right here. Like this. Click, 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 click. And yeah, works like this. And this is the uh, Glow Lichen Farm. So same concept. So whenever the Glow Lichen comes down here, it's gonna be activating and it's gonna go all the way up here and it's gonna make another Glow Lichen. So check this out. This and this, this, bam, bam. And here is the Stellatite Farm. So make sure to have water on top of the dripstone and this is gonna be growing slowly but surely. And now, we got three pointed drips on so far, and we did absolutely nothing, it just grows. So it drops on top of this, and then it goes to this chest. So you can have a larger uh, farm, and if you have a larger farm, then it's gonna be faster. So once it grows, basically this piston cuts it, and it drops down here. Number 13, you can use drip leaf to escape. So I'm gonna get some more drip leaf. So here is the basic concept. So as you're jumping through the water, you're gonna be placing down drip leaf, just like this, this, and this, and this. Bro, I suck at this thing. And when you do that, then the players have to wait, or like they have to make their own bridge because a drip leaf goes down. This is really good for like speed runs and stuff like that. All right, number 14. So did you guys know the campfire smoke somehow is able to escape 
the snow, the powder snow. I, mean, I never knew this, but like it's a really uh, cool trick because smoke and snow doesn't like go together, you know what I'm saying? And lastly, number 15. I think this is like the uh, most interesting one. So I made a dripstone cannon. So basically, this is how it works. Uh, if you press a the button, then the piston is going to be extruding to uh, cut the dripstone. So this thing's going to be falling right here. And there's a soul sand right here, which keeps the dripstone bouncing and also makes it flyable. And it's gonna go right here, 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 and it's going to extrude the piston once again, but this one is to prevent the dripstone from going too high. So you're gonna also go here, and uh, these dispensers are all filled with TNT. Check this out. This, two TNTs, and yeah, just like this. Villager, bam, and then let's go ahead and do this. All right, let's check it out. Yes sir, and let's do it the second time. And TNT, and bam, and yep, it just killed it. So yeah, lastly, if you wanna see more Minecraft 1.17 tips and tricks, then go and check out this video out. So that was it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next video.